Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Daniel and welcome once again to the Pro Cyclist Mode with Joe Almeida and we are almost at the end of our first season and uh, what an episode it was the last one. We are the new national champion of Portugal and uh, today we are going to debut the new jersey for the Cuny Quick Step as national champion a tour of Poland so this is our next race a world tour race eight seven stages and uh, it is fairly hilly not that uh, demanding in terms of mountain so yeah it is a first flat stage in Krakow as you can see then another flat stage and another one so three flat stages and then it comes the hills as we can see the on the fourth stage five climbs and it finishes uphill so yeah it is demanding of course it's not that easy and uh, the fifth stage is almost the same and sixth stage again lots of little climbs but there are a lot of them and then on the last one again it finishes uphill so yeah although it's not big mountains we have a lot of hills that's going to be very difficult for us and yeah this is our lineup we have João Almeida, Kaspar Asgreen, David Ballerini, Remy Cavagna, Tim Declare, Bob Youngles and James Knox so I think Bob Youngles is going to be the main guy here because he's the better one of course and uh, maybe Asgreen I don't know but yeah as we all know we are not the best so um, let's just see what is our role in this race and so guys here it is start of the race and as you can see we are a free element so we have power to do anything we want so maybe we are going for the polka dog jersey once again I don't know but and just take a look at this we have the new national champion jersey on our shoulders just look at this beauty really let me just pause it look at this really the Portuguese national champion on the CUNY quick step so beautiful to have a distinctive jersey really and it's a big accomplishment for João Almeida fantastic and so guys here we are for the last five kilometers of the stage and uh, nothing happened and I'm here at the wheel of Ballerini just for the sake of position really to not lose contact with the peloton of course I'm not going to sprint because we all know that I'm not a sprinter I will give it a go of course because you never know but let's just see who is the winner Simon Grooves now is Caden Grooves sorry is sprinting for Meziek on oh, what the hell but he's going to be for Ben Swift yep Ben Swift has just taken the first stage of Tour of Poland so Sebastian Molano in second place then Acer Boani and from our team Ballerini just on 13th place and then João made on the 14th place so on a 15th place so not bad and now for stage number two another flat stage so again it's for the sprinters and so guys here we are for the last five kilometers of the stage again it is a bunch sprint so let's see who's going for the the victory here I, I'm trying to pick the wheel of the yellow jersey Ben Swift just because you know why not as use the energy gel we are a bit behind but let's see two and a half kilometers to go and the here the front it is Kofidis and the Michelton and Scott let's just launch the sprint why not and uh, let's see who is the winner of the stage yes we are already sprinting Caden Grooves at the front and he's going for the win yes Caden Grooves is the winner of this stage I think it was a bit unexpected but nonetheless Caden Grooves with the win Simon Consoni in second place and Sebastian Molano who was the second place on overall classification just make third place so I mean maybe he's going for the yellow jersey I don't know and yeah guys Sebastian Molano now on the first place just took the yellow jersey from Ben Swift and we are on 13th position we finished this stage on 19th position so not a bad result for for us but yeah let's go now for stage number three which it is again a sprint stage and so guys here we are start of the stage and we have some bad news uh, it seems like João Almeida is not feeling that well 
we have this injury sign right here although we have a plus do they but uh, yeah let's see what's going to happen because we're not feeling that great but let's hope that we can finish this race and here we are guys the last five kilometers of the stage we are here everyone got the sprinters in the front so let's go as well to the front just for the placement as you all know and yeah the, these flat stages they are this is what it is because there's not much everything else happening and uh, I'm uh, just going to show you the sprint finish of course because that's what interests the most as we are launching the final sprint who is at the front Consoni for Nacerboani Caden Grovens now is in the front but Laporte Swift Molano and it is Sebastian Molano at the finish line ahead of Ben Swift Nacerboani and Christophe Laporte these four guys were neck and neck on the finish line and Molano got the best on everyone else and ourselves Juan Meda on the 15th position so again a top 15 for us on a sprint stage not bad at all, cannot complain and now this is it, stage number 4, this is where it starts the general classification fight and uh, let's hope that we can be with the best but as you can see this injured symbol continues here and right now it is a virus so we have a virus that is not good at all and let's hope that we can continue and uh, we don't have to withdraw from the race and so guys here we are on the first climb of the day and today our role it is to be a teammate for Bob Youngo so this time I will not do anything different I will just be here to help Youngos if that is the role that has given to me and yeah the the objective for this stage it was to work in ahead of the group right now I only work for 8 kilometers on the peloton which is not the best but uh, let's hope that now on the climbs I could help Youngles and work for him and so we are in the summit of the first climb so right now everything is alright I have to say that we have a minus today if you watch closely on the left side and yeah of course it's not the best because we lost some stats but let's hope that we can help Youngles anyway and here we are for another climb this time it is a bit difficult and uh, the pace on the peloton is fairly high but I'm at the wheel of Youngles once again and let's just try to stick to this and when the time comes try to protect him we are again on the same climb as the climb before and again the rhythm is high and I'm not sure if I can hang on because this minor two day does not help at all as you can see I'm already struggling to follow Youngles so yeah let's see if we can follow him until the end and so guys here we are for the final climb before the, the finish and the, we are struggling but we are keeping here in the peloton right now so yeah we are getting out of energy but so far we are still here although the pace right now really high as you can see I'm on a 90 effort and uh, it's getting difficult let's just try to keep here in this position although I'm losing a lot of energy this is not good but come on Juan just hang on for a little bit more because I know you can do it come on and attacks now are coming attacks on the front from the favorites Kelderman, Jenny Moscon as well and I lost all my energy right now so this is not great I cannot help Youngles who is out of energy as well so I just use the energy gel let's see if that's possible come on come on Juan just a little bit more 1.5 kilometers to the finish of this climb and Jenny Moscon is doing a madness right now he's at the front alone but he's going to get big He's going to get caught by the peloton I assume I don't know but yeah Youngles is very well in the front I'm very well behind I just lost the contact with the peloton so yeah this is not great we are not helping at all for the finish it's a bit disappointing really and so guys the win in the end was for Damiano Caruso Yanni Moscon just came on second place and then Valentin Maduas from FDJ at third place from our team Bob Youngos at seventh place a very good result for, for us 
and ourselves we just came across at just 53rd position so yeah we just lost the contact with the peloton on the penultimate climb and therefore we can we will not be we were not able to rejoin the peloton for the last climb and yeah it is what it is i didn't help at all in this stage which it's a bit of a shame really so yeah let's go for the next stage so guys here we are start of stage number five and uh, I think the best strategy to, to accomplish our objective to work in the front of a group is to work right away from the beginning in the peloton and get those kilometers in because uh, really if, if I don't do that on the mountains I cannot work because I don't have the energy to, to work on a group and therefore I think the best way to work right here from the start and hopefully I can get the objective done. And so guys we got our objective done, that's the most important really, it's done, it's out of the way and I'm just going to lose all of my energy right now in doing this, so yeah let's just pause for a little bit and yeah our, our job is done here so let's just enjoy the rest of the stage and see what's going to happen. So guys our objective is done for today and uh, I don't know why but maybe let's just try because only one guy is at the front right now and uh, let's try to get some mountain points because why not it's a thing that we can do maybe because there are some uh, points available for the next stages and that could be an objective I don't know let's just try and do it and we are catching the breakaway so maybe this could be for the first place let's just try we are on the last two kilometers of the summit and uh, let's see I'm on 90 I'm losing a lot of energy but I don't care the, this is just an objective that I could create as you can see I'm going alone and attacks now are coming oh my god come on Joel just stay here please Mo Berger is attacking I believe let's attack as well now although maybe it's not a good thing to do come on Joel Ben King now attacking, let's just attack, but I don't need to attack, let's just pause it, oh no 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 my god, really, no, damn it, I just lost I think, oh my god, I'm so stupid, why, why, why did I stop it, Ben King just took the maximum points and now I just took 8 points, damn it, and so guys the breakaway is on the last 10 kilometers of the stage I didn't follow the breakaway because I thought that it was going nowhere but I think they might got the win here who is at the front I think yes Ben King is at the front Mo Berger on the second position then it comes us but we are 23 seconds away from the peloton so we are going to be caught by the peloton as I'm speaking there they are and yeah, uh, I don't know, maybe I should stick with the, 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 the breakaway because they are going for the win I believe if they don't lose too many energy if they do not flop, maybe they can get it, let's see. And here we are on the last 3 kilometers of the stage, the guys from Ineos team are attacking and the breakaway is right here at the front and Jungles, Jungles is going again, let me see, let's just make a sprint we are still away one kilometer let me see if I, I don't think I can do anything but let's just try Joao Maida in the front but now Ben Swift had just taken the stage with a big sprint so a sprinter has just won this hilly stage which is a bit hard Luca Mezek on second place and then Sergio Higuita and where are we? where are we? we just fall to 17th position so yeah we were a bit early on the attacks but yeah we come together with the peloton which is a, a great thing so guys here we are starting now for stage number six and it is a big stage as we can see a lot of points available and the, our role it is to be on the breakaway so i'm going to do that of course and uh, trying to score points for the mountain because we have a lot of points available anyone can win the, the jersey today because so many points available and just a quick note I think the virus is spreading through our team because 
I have a virus and now Ballerini does not feel that well so I think the virus is spreading which is not good at all. So yeah, maybe we need to be careful about that. And so guys, here we are for the first mountain. It is a first category climb and uh, we have one minute ahead of the peloton but it's going to be difficult of course. There will be attacks here in this group, I know that. And I don't know what to do because you know that I don't have too much acceleration and these guys in the group I think they are better than me. But yeah, let's just see what's going to happen. Right now I'm putting a pace on the group and uh, let's hope that uh, most of them cannot hang on but uh, I think it's not what's happening and now they are attacking one kilometer to the summit. Tom Squins is gone. Let's try to catch them but I don't think we can do that. And not even for a second place, oh my god. No points for us, I think we just scored two points or something like that, yep. Last place for us, this is not great. It's not like this that we are going to win the, um, the jersey. And so guys, after three climbs, this is the situation, Tom Squint is in the front, I'm in second place. And in terms of points, I did not score much points, so I'm now in third position on the classification. But as you can see, Tom Squins is going alone. Nobody had the strength that he has and uh, yeah, he's going away for the next climb. It is a first category climb as you can see. We are almost one kilometer away and he's attacking Tom Squins, so I need to follow that. But of course I cannot do that. Let me just try to attack now. But I cannot attack as well, damn it, come on. Give everything you got, João. It's almost there. Just pass at the front of him. Is that possible? But it's not. Once again, Tom squids at the head of another intermediate sprint, and therefore I think he almost had this classification in his pocket because he's got so many points ahead of the others. As you can see, he has 69 points. Benjamin King with 36, and ourselves with 25. So yeah. I don't think it's possible to get this jersey away from him. But you, we are trying of course and we have ahead another climb, this time a third category climb but again I think Tom Squins has this jersey. And so guys here we are for the next climb and Tom Squins is out of energy so I'm trying to get rid of him but he's getting difficult. And here we are for now the summit is almost here, I'm trying to attack but it's getting difficult to get this guy out of my wheel, but this time I will pass in front, I think. There we go, I just pass in the front, this is just a second category climb, but nonetheless it's a good thing. And yeah, I, I'm just here try that I'm trying to get rid of them, but it's difficult. Come on, come on. And we've been caught by the peloton, so no more points for us. But I think Tom Squins had just had this jersey because he had more than double the points of the second place that it's me, I think. So yeah, I think that's classification, it's, it's done or almost done really. And so guys, we are on the last 10 kilometers of the stage and uh, I don't know in the front who is attacking, who is not attacking. I don't know because I'm getting behind as we can see I'm out of energy. And all of my teammates are here, basically, which is a bit hard, really. Bob Jungos is now trying to get to the front, but he's getting out of energy as well. And so do I, once again, so yeah, not great at all. And in the front, I think it is Adam Yates, no, Serge Vigit, it is in the front right now. And then it comes the group of uh, the main guys, I believe. And uh, yeah, I'm just behind, so no bother to to do anything else because it's over for us. And yeah, guys, Sergei Gita, the winner of stage six of this tour of Poland. And yeah, he was the better guy in the end. And uh, ourselves, we did a tremendous job on the breakaway, but we were not the strongest. Tom Squin was the strongest, finishing with 47 points on this stage and. We just finished with 30, so on the general classification, we are on second place with um, with the 41 points, and the, in the front, Tom Squins with double the points, 85 points. So yeah, I think 
this jersey for Tom Queen it was the strongest I, I give you the I give you that so it is what it is I could not do better and then in the end I just lost the contact with the peloton so that's why you didn't see the finish but yeah we're going for the last stage again a hill stage it finished up hill so let's see who is going to be the winner of this race and so guys here we are start of stage 7 it is the last stage of this tour of Poland and uh, as you can see we have 6 climbs that has points for the mountain classification and in total we have 72 points available so we can in fact gain this jersey on this stage but as we already seen on the screen Tom Squins is here with us which means that uh, it's going to be difficult because he's going to score points as well but yeah we're going to try of course and see if we can do it and we are already on the first climb as you can see 2 kilometers for the summit I'm putting up pace really high I'm losing all of my red energy and I know Tom Squins is going to attack as he's doing right now and so do I come on João at least on this I need to pass at the front if I want to get the jersey but I'm out of energy already so I'm not going to get the first place once again damn it I don't have the energy and Tom Squin just passed in the front so now I think I don't know if I have the possibility or not let me just check and yeah, Tom Swift with 97 points and our, ourselves with 49, so again we have more or less a 50 point gap and they are still available, how many? I think it is 60, if I'm not mistaken, no, or 58 points available, so yeah, of course Tom Swift is going to score the points every single time, so yeah, it's not, it's not possible. Tom Squins is better than us, so yeah, it is what it is. And so guys, we've been caught by the by the breakaway that was intermediate, and Bob Bungles is here with us, as well as Tim the Clark. So I think right now we need to work for Youngles. I don't know why he's here. Our objective is to take the breakaway for as long as possible. So of course I'm going to do that, but. Why the hell Youngles is here at the front? I don't get it and of course I don't think the, the peloton will let this breakaway get away because... And Nox as well, James Nox is coming. So half of our team is here at the front which is a bit strange but oh well, I, I don't mind at all. And now attacks from Tom Squins. I'm attacking as well but of course I cannot get the points. We all know that. Tom Squins is a great winner of this jersey, this mountain jersey with 109 points right now and I have 55 so yeah I think I will not bother to, to try to get the points because Squins is better than us so let's just stay here with Youngles and work here and do our objective that I think we can do it still in this middle group I don't know but yeah and so guys here we are middle of the stage as you can see we are in the peloton we don't have the strength to continue in the breakaway in the front there is Bob Youngles alone in the in the breakaway Tom Skunes right now is behind him and of course Squins is fighting for the jersey but the jersey is his because no one will take that of course but I don't know what Youngles is doing but right now he's ahead of the peloton with two minutes so yeah let's see where it's going to end up and so guys once again I don't have anything else to show you I didn't do the objective there was to be in the front in the breakaway for 90 kilometers I didn't stick to the peloton until the end I I fall down to a little group behind and yeah I didn't do nothing in the end and in the end Sergio Higuita is the big winner because he was once again the winner of this stage and therefore is the winner of the general classification ahead of Ben Swift and they ourselves the best that we did was a second place on the best climber classification but as you can see Tom Squins with 129 points ahead of the 55 points that I have so a big big gap Tom Squins was the better man on this race really and yeah 
we finish on the general classification let me just see on the 36th position with it's a top 50 so not that bad but uh, of course a bit disappointing because we did not we did not did anything good really and so guys this is it for today tour of poland is done we did uh, a reasonable job not the best of course but it is what it is it was the first race with our national champion jersey which was so beautiful really and we're going to see that for the next year and yeah this is it for this episode so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because on the next episode it is the season finale of this João Almeida Pro Cyclist mode it is the first season that is going to end so yeah stay tuned for that stay safe bye bye